If you watch my last video, you know that I recently purchased an instant pot and I've been trying different recipes in it. So many of you have been sending me messages on Facebook and some of my other social media channels and asking for interesting things to do in the instant pot and that's what I'm going to deliver. Today we're making a whole chicken dinner. I'm literally going to take a whole chicken and I'm going to cook it in my instant pot with lemon, thyme, garlic, I'm going to add some paprika. When that chicken is cooked with the stock, I'm actually going to cook up some penne in the same gravy as well as I'm going to steam Brussels sprouts all at the same time and this is going to make a nice wholesome dinner for my family. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start with a beautiful fresh chicken. This one is organic and it weighs three and a half pounds. I'm going to marinate the chicken with two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to add half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm just going to give the chicken a dusting for a little bit of heat. And finally, I'm going to add the juice of half a lemon. Rub this into the skin of the bird and get that marinade on the front and the back. I like to let this marinade for 30 minutes to overnight, but if you're in a rush, you can skip the marination step. My instant pot is ready. I'm gonna set this to saute mode. I'm adding a few tablespoons of oil. You will need a little bit to sear the chicken, but don't add too much as the chicken will have natural oil that will come out from the chicken fat. Allow this to heat up and when the oil is nice and hot, I'm going to add five cloves of garlic or more if you love garlic. I'm strategically going to place the garlic in the middle. I'm doing this on purpose. The last time I tried to sear a chicken because I couldn't gauge how hot it was and I can't see because of the high sides of the pot, my skin got stuck to the bottom and it tore off. The garlic cloves will create a nice buffer so I avoid tearing the skin. Add your chicken in and this is why I love the eight quart instant pot. There is a lot of room for this chicken. I'm going to throw in some fresh thyme into the oil as well. To air on the side of caution, I'm not going to let it sear for too long before flipping it over. It's got a beautiful color and now I'm going to sear it on the other side. I just want to remind you that this is not a roast chicken. It's going to cook using the pressure cooker technology so without brining the chicken, you're going to get incredibly fall of the bone chicken meat. This eight quart IP can actually cook two chickens side by side. You would just have to sear them individually first and then pressure cook them together. It's probably seared enough at the bottom now, so I'm going to add two cups of chicken or vegetable stock. Put the lid on and lock it in place. Cancel the saute mode and make sure it's set from venting to sealing. Select the pressure cooker or manual mode and I'm going to set this for 25 minutes. The pressure will build, this can take at least 10 minutes, so be patient. Once you see the red valve go up, the pressure is built and it will now start to count down. Time is up and I'm now going to do a quick release of the steam. As the steam starts to escape, I like to protect my cabinets as well as my camera with a tea towel. If you're not in a rush, you can do nothing. Once the timer is done, the steam and pressure will just naturally release. You know it's ready to open when the red valve drops and it's safe to open the pressure cooker. The chicken is cooked, it's juicy and tender. I'm just going to remove this and keep it aside. Now 
look at this amazing stock. It's enhanced with the juices and fat from the chicken. Nothing will go to waste. Right into the pot, I'm going to add two cups of penne. Place a trivet over the penne and I'm going to add some Brussels sprouts. Cover the instant pot and set it to pressure cooker or manual again. Make sure that you are set from venting to sealing. This time I only need to cook this for 10 minutes. The pasta will be al dente and the Brussels sprouts will be steamed to perfection. Once done, I'm going to do a quick release again. And look how amazing this is. This makes a complete meal that your family will love. Thank you so much for joining me on Craving Sit Adventures. I hope this way of cooking a whole chicken really blew your mind. You can use any kind of spices that you like and prepare a nice wholesome meal for your family. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and you share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating. Bye.